let's get ready for Mother's Day with some craft projects. My name is Laura from Crafty Not Shifty and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a couple of cards and also a photo frame gift. So I'm starting off here by measuring out approximately four centimeters across this strip of pink paper and then you'll want to go ahead and cut that out twice. You could use scissors for this, I'm using my paper trimmer because I have it on hand, but you just want two nice long even strips of paper. This is what we're going to use to make the rosette shape. I think a rosette is a great idea for a Mother's Day card because every month deserves an award. So here I'm folding this strip of paper backwards and forwards in a concertina design. This is exactly the same as how you used to make fans when you were younger, so it's a really nice familiar craft and it's something that you can do with your kids and get them involved to help them create this. So you'll want to fold both of the pieces backwards and forwards until you completely run out of paper. You'll want it to be nice and even, so you may need to just snip off some of the excess at the end. And I'll go ahead and fast forward through me folding that second piece. Once we have both of them folded, it's time to glue them together to make a longer strip. If you have a larger piece of paper, of course you wouldn't need to do this. I'm using A4 size paper from a paper pack from Baker Ross, so I'm sticking the two pieces together to make it longer, and then I'll stick the other two ends together to turn this into a circle. Believe it or not, this is going to be the rosette, and we're actually almost done with it. You'll need a couple of circles. I decided to use a contrasting colour and I used a punch to cut those out. You could just draw around something circular and carefully cut it out with some scissors. And then here's the magic bit. You just want to push one of those edges in towards the middle and it will change that um, concertina paper into a rosette shape. I'll go ahead and show you that again because it's a little tricky to get your head around at first, but once you have it figured out, you'll be making rosettes in no time. As you can see, I'm using PVA glue to attach the smaller circles to the center of the rosette, and this will hold everything in place. And I'm just adding a small bottle of paint as a weight to hold that together while it dries. While it dries, let's work on the card base. I'm using a purple piece of A4 card, and I'm folding that in half to make my card base. Then I've also cut out a piece of pink cardstock that matches the center of my rosette and I've cut this to be just slightly smaller than my card base. I used a ruler to measure that out and then just trimmed a piece of paper to be ever so slightly smaller so it would act as a layer on top of the card base. And I'm using a print stick to stick that down in place. Here I have another strip of paper that I'm going to use to make the tails of the rosette. I'm going to fold it in half and then I will stick that down to make the bottom of the rosette. I decided to add a fishtail to the bottom of these pieces. I think that just kind of makes it look a little more authentic as a rosette. And then I'll use my PVA glue to stick everything together. I'll stick the two tails together at a slight angle. And then I'll stick those down to the card base. And then I'll just need to stick on, right on top of that my rosette piece. You can definitely change this up by using different colors. I think the pinks and the purples work really well together and I'm really pleased with how this one looks. Now it's just time to add a sentiment and I'm using these lowercase foam stickers from Baker Ross to spell out best mom on the rosette ribbon. If you don't have these, you could definitely use some paint pens or some markers to add in that sentiment. And that is the first card finished. Now we're going to work on a glittery frame. Now. I know that glitter scares quite a lot of people. You could definitely use washi tape instead if you prefer and just cover this in washi tape to make a nice rainbow decoration. However, I'm gonna go in with the glitter and give you some tips on how to keep the glitter somewhat contained. Here I'm using tacky glue and I'm working on a scrap piece of paper. I'm gonna use my finger to spread the glue around. I actually think that is the most effective. Now this is my top tip. You'll notice that I switch between a scrap piece of paper for when I'm working with the glue and a scrap piece of paper to catch all of my glitter. This means I can pour the glitter over the top of the frame and let it land on that dry piece of paper and then just tip any of the excess back into the container. Now I do have this sped up, but you can see that I'm just working through each of the colors that I'm using. I decided to use um, a yellow, a green, a blue, and a purple for this frame. You'll notice from the picture at the start of the video, I also made a pink and purple version. And I'm going to finish this off with those same alphabet stickers. 
These come in a pack of over a thousand letters and they're in all different colors. I decided to use green for this frame because I felt it complemented the colors that are in play here. And I'm just gonna spell out Happy Mother's Day. Now, if you wanted that glitter to be really opaque, you can definitely wait until it's completely dry and then add a second layer of glue and a second layer of glitter. And that will really fill in any gaps that the glitter may have missed. You could also lightly coat this with hairspray after you've finished just to help to contain that excess glitter. So once you've finished adding your sentiment, all that's left to do is add in a photograph or a piece of artwork that you want to frame as part of your gift. I'm using a picture of my dog because my dog always gets me a gift for Mother's Day, so perhaps this is his gift to me. I'll seal up the back and then this small wooden dowel acts as your photo stand. You can see you can use it either in a horizontal or a portrait version. Now to finish up, I'm going to show you one more card idea. This time we're going to make a vase of flowers. Starting off as always by folding the card in half to create a card base. And then I'm going to take a pencil and draw a vase shape onto this purple card and carefully cut that out. This will act as the flower vase, so you want to make sure you don't make it too large for your card base and leave plenty of room to add on those flowers. Next, it's time to create the flowers. I'm going to be using a petal shaped punch, but if you don't have this, you could definitely just draw a petal shape and then cut around that multiple times to make your flowers. I'm going to be using two of these shapes per flowers and I'm just rolling the petals around a pencil to add some dimension. Now it's time to assemble the card. Using a glue stick, I'll go ahead and add the vase first of all. Then I'm going to use some PVA glue to layer up the flowers. I'll be using two of those shapes per flower and I'm adding three flowers in total to this card. I'm only going to use a small dot of adhesive right in the center of those flowers so they can maintain that dimension and that curve that we added in with the pencil. Then we just need to add some flower stems. I'm using a green paint marker. You could definitely use a regular marker for this. It doesn't have to be a paint marker because it is just cardstock that you're drawing on, but I had this handy on my desk, so I decided to use it. And you just want to draw a curve from each of those flowers to into the vase. I finished up the center of these flowers by adding a small sparkly gem right in the middle. You could also use a sequin or a marker pen to add some dotted detail into the centers. Again, I'm going to use those foam stickers to create my sentiment on the card, this time keeping it really simple, just adding mum to the bottom of the vase. And that is this card finished. I hope you're feeling inspired to get crafty for Mother's Day to create some handmade cards or handmade gifts to show your mom that you care. 